My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a hundred dollar credit on your next ad campaign. Go to LinkedIn.com slash campaign to claim your credit. That's LinkedIn.com slash campaign. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be, to be. Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. This is Tuesday, the season after Pentecost, proper 27 in the church calendar. I'm so glad that you're here today. Set aside this time as holy. In the crushing, in the pressing, you are making new wine. In the soil I now surrender. You are breaking new ground So I yield to you To your careful hand When I trust you I don't need to understand So make me a vessel Make me an offering Make me whatever want me to be I came here with nothing but all you have given me Jesus bring new wine out of me in the crushing in the pressing you are making new wine In the soil I now surrender You are breaking new ground You are breaking new ground So make me a vessel Make me an offering Make me whatever you want me to be I came here with nothing But all you have given me Jesus, bring new wine out of me Jesus, bring new wine out of me Jesus, bring new wine out of me Cause where there is new wine, there is new power, there is new freedom, and the kingdom is here. I lay down my old flames to carry your new fire today. Cause where there is new wine, There is new power, there is new freedom, the kingdom is here. Lay down my old flames, carry your new fire today. So make me a vessel. Make me an offering, make me whatever you want me to be. I came here with nothing, but all you have given me. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Take a few moments, invite the Holy Spirit to search your heart. Search your heart. Let's turn away from anything that doesn't honor the Lord. 
that impedes our walk with Him. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. Because where there is new wine, there is new power, there is new freedom, and the kingdom is here. I lay down my old flames to carry your new fire today. Oh, yes. If you do have a prayer request, I encourage you to go to benwarmusic.com slash prayer request. It'd be our honor and our joy to pray for you and with you. Our psalm for today is Psalm 78, 1 through 39. When we read scripture on morning prayer, we read it in a spirit of prayer, hearing the word of the Lord come to us, praying the prayers with those who have come before us. Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will declare the mysteries of ancient times, that which we have heard and known, and what our forefathers have told us. We will not hide from their children. We will recount to generations to come the praiseworthy deeds and the power of the Lord and the wonderful works he has done. He gave his decrees to Jacob and established a law for Israel, which he commanded them to teach their children, that the generations to come might know, and the children yet unborn, that they in their turn might tell it to their children, so that they might put their trust in God, and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commandments, and not be like their forefathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The people of Ephraim, armed with the bow, turned back in the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law. They forgot what he had done and the wonders he had shown them. He worked marvels in the sight of their forefathers in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. He split open the sea and let them pass through. He made the water stand up like walls. He led them with a cloud by day and all the night through with a glow of fire. He split the hard rocks in the wilderness and he gave them drink as from the great deep. He brought streams out of the cliff and the waters gushed out like rivers. But they went on sinning against him, rebelling in the desert against the Most High. They tested God in their hearts, demanding food for their craving. They railed against God and said, Can God set a table in the wilderness? True, he struck the rock, and the waters gushed out, and the gullies overflowed. But is he able to give bread or to provide meat for his people? When the Lord heard this, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob, and his anger mounted against Israel, for they had no faith in God, nor did they put their trust in his saving power. So he commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna upon them to eat and gave them grain from heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. He provided for them food enough. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens and led out the south wind by his might. He rained down flesh upon them like dust and winged birds like the sand of the sea. He let it fall in the midst of their camp and round about their dwellings. So they ate and were well filled, for he gave them what they craved. But they did not stop their craving, though the food was still in their mouths. So God's anger mounted against them. He slew their strongest men and laid low the youth of Israel. In spite of all of this, they went on sinning and had no faith in his wonderful works. So he brought their days to an end like a breath and their years in sudden terror. Whenever he slew them, they would seek him and repent and diligently search for God. They would remember that God was their rock 
and the Most High God, their Redeemer. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues. Their heart was not steadfast toward him, and they were not faithful to his covenant. But he was so merciful that he forgave their sins and did not destroy them. Many times he held back his anger and did not permit his wrath to be roused, for he remembered that they were but flesh, a breath that goes forth and does not return. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen, Amen. Our gospel reading today is Luke 14, 25 through 35. Large crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and said to them, Whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and even life itself, cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. For which of you intending to build a tower does not first sit down and estimate the cost to see whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going out to wage war against another king, will not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to oppose the one who comes against him with 20,000? If he cannot, then, while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks for the terms of peace. So therefore, none of you can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored It is fit neither for the soil nor for the manure pile. They throw it away. Let anyone with ears to hear listen. Give us ears to listen, God. May we hear your voice. May we hear your voice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let's pray as our Lord taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It is the season after Pentecost, proper 27 in the church calendar, and our collect of the day the prayer we pray together collectively. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. If you do have a prayer request, remember, go to benwarmusic.com slash prayer request. Be our honor and our joy to pray for you and with you to see the hand of the Lord move. 
as we come to our Father. Going to lead us in a time of guided prayer. I'll give us prompts. Pray specifically for those in your life. Speaking with our own hearts, joys, thanksgivings, trials, worries, fears. Lay them all before Jesus. families now, those closest to us, whatever that means in your life today, lift them up. families now. Let's pray for them. acquaintances, co-workers, whoever the Lord brings to your heart, to your mind, to your tongue. Pray for our enemies. Jesus commands us to pray for our enemies. Bless those who curse us. Pray a blessing upon them. We want to know your heart, God. We want to know your heart. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. You are treasured today. Treasure those around you as He treasures you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, let's pray together again tomorrow.